Listen to myself and hear this show. I will do my best and forget the rest. I will do my best and forget the rest. I will do my best and forget the rest. That is what I heard almost every single day growing up. To others, my trio brother would be saying, I'll go my best and forget the rest. Growing up, hearing my brother's unique way of speaking, I could understand every single word he was saying loud and clear. But to the rest of the world, you would hear it as what you heard just now. Now, I guess my brother was somewhat more different than the rest of us. I remember this one day when my parents brought me and my brother to a toy shop. Us being kids in a toy shop was screaming and shouting, jumping up and down when we were running through the aisles trying to find what we could buy. Suddenly, my brother just leapt onto the ground and started screaming and shouting. He started twirling round and round and round. He made a woo woo noise. I could not believe it. I was shocked. Sooner or later, his screaming got louder and louder. His twirling got faster and faster. I thought to myself, why is my brother doing that? Why is he on the floor? It is so embarrassing. Soon, crowds started to form. People's eyes blazed at me. People started whispering, what is that doing? Where are his parents? Why aren't his parents doing anything? I was so embarrassed. Suddenly, out of the corner of my eye, I saw a little boy playing with a toy helicopter. Then it hit me. My brother was mimicking the helicopter's propeller's noise and movement. I could not believe it. After explaining it to my parents, my parents quickly grabbed him because they were so embarrassed and ran out of the toy shop. That moment, was the moment we realized that we needed help. So that gave a series of therapy sessions, including speech therapy, constant reminders to sit still and not to mumble. The therapist told my brother how to mouth his s, b, and p. Every time after therapy sessions, my father got more and more serious, more and more wary. When I asked my mother about it, my mother explained to me, Hayley, therapy sessions aren't cheap, but we have to do it. That is when I realized it was taking a huge toll on my family. Every time after therapy sessions, my parents had to sit down with him and practice phonics with him. Phonics was an everyday thing in life. Every moment was practice. Every day was a lesson. And every month was progress. Today, my parents and I are happy and proud to say that my brother has stopped speech therapy after two months and after constant reminders, he is now a prefect and also in the school's debate team. And me, being the supposedly normal kid in the family, is neither a prefect nor in the school's debate team. So I guess it's my turn to say I will do my best and forget the rest. Thank you.